And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. Each and every one of us are servants. His servants. And I learned at the beginning of my Christian walk, because I asked the Lord, Lord, how can I serve you? Because I know I can't bring you a plate of fruit or something. I, how can I serve you? Boom. By serving others. I am the servant of God and your servant. You are the servant of God and each other's. This church is servant. We have deacons, and I would like the deacons to step up a little more. You're doing a great job. I'm not complaining. I'm thankful for Brother Brandon and Deanna for stepping into this leadership role for the young people. Keep praying for them and encourage them. Because when you step out, as the deacons and him and myself, and by the way, Cindy is my wife. She's not the pastor. She's the pastor's wife. The church didn't call my wife. They call me. And I'm so thankful that she came with me. <laughs> I am. She didn't have to. But I'm thankful she did. But any time, whether it's the deacons or, you know, the musicians, anyone who steps out into a leadership role, steps in to situations. And I'm so thankful. This church is wonderful. No complaints about this church overall. Just as some churches are going to go through some changes, this church has gone through some changes and will continue to do so. Because anytime we're growing, there are going to be changes. We want young people in here, amen? We want young people to be in here and just fill up the, the Sunday school and, and, the, and the young people classes and all that, right? And we're going to get fingerprints on the wall. We're going to get trash on the, on the yard. Don't complain about it. It's like when we pray for rain and it rains and we complain about the mud. Wait a minute now. Wipe your feet off. That's it. Pick the pick trash up. Whatever it may be. But rejoice that the Lord is blessing. Because there are times when God prunes. He prunes us individually and, and, and corporately as a whole. In verse uh, 6 of Amos chapter 4. And I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and want of bread in all your palaces. Ye have... Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. He, he gave them famines, what he did. Cleanliness of teeth means they didn't have enough to eat. He didn't give them new toothbrushes. He didn't, they weren't eating anything, so they didn't have to brush. And also I have withholding the rain from you, California, when there were yet three months of the harvest, and I caused it to rain upon one city, and caused it not to rain upon another city, one piece was rained upon, and the other piece whereupon rained not wither, withered. I mean, we have some parts of our nation that's getting a lot of rain, and others that aren't getting any rain. I'm just saying. So two of, or three cities wandered in unto one city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. There are times in, in this church's history when it was wanting when it needed and the Lord blessed. I know of one church that had very few members and had a lot of money in the bank and only a few members 
because they had a lot of money in the bank. And the pastor said the biggest problem with the church is that money in the bank. Time to go. <laughs> Where's our faith? Who are we leaning upon? We need to lean on Jesus. In John chapter 15, verse 2, Every branch in me, Jesus says, that beareth not fruit,